Hi folks. I really don't want to get too repetitive here, but I recently came across another great example of a DPF filter pretty much brought back from the dead after a proper cleaning, and I thought it would be really worth sharing with you. Now the DPF in question is out of a truck running a Cummins ISC engine. The truck was originally suffering from symptoms that pointed to the DPF filter being completely filled with ash. The ash level was actually measured using a pin method and it was found to be nearly completely filled. It was thought that this engine had also suffered from an EGR cooler failure at one point in time and the DPF filter may not have been cleaned properly afterwards. The filter was sent out to a dealership and at the dealership they performed a normal air cleaning. Now in the dealership's defense they were quite honest about it. After the air cleaning they admitted that it did not work very well. They said that the ash could not all be removed and the filter was not flowing very well. This advice was ignored and the DPF was reinstalled in the truck. The truck barely ran for a month and all the same problems returned again. Now this is where I took over. Since there was a possibility of a previous failed EGR cooler in the past, and to eliminate any chances of any face plugging in the DOC, I began by cleaning the DOC. Just a quick cleaning because this is not a filter. The passages in it just flow straight through. I then moved on to the DPF. Now a regen wasn't performed before the cleaning, so you will see some black soot on the face of the filter at the beginning. Very quickly though you'll notice that the soot gets washed away and the ash begins to wash through. And there is a lot of it. filter is thoroughly washed through in the opposite direction of exhaust flow and then it's flipped and washed in the opposite direction this is repeated multiple times to loosen up and remove as much ash as possible ash being removed from a filter can often look kind of pink the excessive pink and almost red color from this one makes me think that there was some coolant involved there. Again, it pays to be very thorough and make sure you get all the outer edges. The outer edges of the filter are where air cleaning really struggles to get good results. Here you can see some of the pieces of ash that were removed from the filter that I suspect had some coolant involved in them. Now after finishing the cleaning, I decided to repeat the pin test just to see how much ash was removed from the filter. I was told that the previous air cleaning barely removed two inches of ash. Here I'm just using some very thin wire, but the results are the same. The wire drops freely into the filter through the full depth of it. This can be repeated multiple times on multiple areas of the filter with the same results every time. So basically, there's zero ash left in this filter. It's not shown here, but I then used some compressed air to remove most of the water from the filter. Next, the filter was set roughly back into the truck, just sitting loosely with the exhaust inlet attached. We then ran the truck for about 10 to 15 minutes just to help boil off some of the excess water. Then, everything gets reinstalled, and the truck is back on the road. And back on the road is where it's been for months now with zero issues. So again, sorry for the repetitiveness, but I just really thought this was a good case to look at. I want to say thanks for our current Patreon support, and hope that you too would consider supporting our content on Patreon. Every little bit goes a long way towards helping out the channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I hope to see you back for the next one, and thanks for watching.